Welcome back to Team Fat Kid Choose the Fat. I am Jason. This is Alex. This is Dennis. This is Dooley. Hey, Dooley's here. And guys, we have from the Great Food Truck Race Season 12, Bachelor's Kitchen, including pistachio, which we're going to bring up in one second because we are confused on how the fuck you guys got four members on your team. <laughs> how are you guys doing? Say hello to the people. Hi, everyone. What's happening? Oink, oink. <laughs> <laughs> so we got we got two thirds or three fourths if you count pistachio. Uh, we're waiting for John, uh, Billy. John's here. John and uh, Stefanos are here with us. We're waiting for Billy to call in. Uh, he's late. He's like pulling a dually. He's like so. <laughs> All right, there goes Alex. All right. So first off, <laughs> what we wanted to uh, what we wanted to talk about was how did you guys get on the show? Yeah. So. This is Stefan and Stefanos, however we want to say it. Is it Stefanos and, uh, or Stefanos? Because I, oh. I'll very much respond to either. It's uh, it's all. I'm Greek, and so I just let you know. I, I'm not going to correct anyone's accent on anything. It's all good. I'll well, call how it do we say it correctly so I use it correctly the rest of the show? And I'm still going to fuck it up. <laughs> Stefanos. Stefanos would be the way that my family would say it. All right. Stefanos is very fine. Uh, anyway, so I have. I guess I cook for bitches with my shirt off on occasion in Austin, Texas. And uh, so I have an Instagram account called The Shirtless Chef. And the reason why I created it is because girls are worried that maybe I'm going to kill all of them. And so I needed something to make it a little bit more valid. And I did that by creating this Instagram account and showing that if I've in more than one batch of party, I probably haven't gotten to jail yet. It's probably safe for you to uh, speak up, and uh, I can come and cook for you, bitches as well. And uh, food network just kind of <laughs> bitches don't beware. <laughs> <laughs> I got a comment on one of my posts from someone at uh, who was recruiting for the show, and they said, "Hey, I think you could possibly be a great fit. It would be fun if uh, we could interview you." So they interviewed me on a Saturday. Said bringing a team of dudes and. My brother John and best friend Billy were two of those dudes. John lived with me in Austin, Texas, and Billy's in Chicago. And we did a nice little interview and got cast. So Billy wasn't Billy interviewed from Chicago, like he zoomed in with you guys or whatever. Yeah. So technically, it originally it was my buddy Pete Gotchak, and then he couldn't. He ended up. He couldn't do it. His job just wouldn't let him go. And so Billy then interviewed via Skype with the casting crew. I love I love how you guys have like your priorities set. Like you know, you just said like your your third person, their job wouldn't let him go. I feel like mm-hmm. if it was one of the three of us and our job said you couldn't go, we probably would have just been like Peace ah, bitch. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. Like, I can find another job. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how many opportunities I'm going to get to go on the great food truck race, though. Like, Yeah, so, well, so for this guy in particular, uh, he had never really done well ever. Uh, and he had, like, just started making really good money. Awesome. And his, and his boss was his uncle, and his uncle was like, yeah, you can go. But then when you come back, there's no job. Oh, fuck. Was, I mean, well, hey, life choices, right? Like, you, 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 big yeah. risk, big reward. I mean, but again, I, I – now, correct me if I'm wrong – did, was he in the cooking field? Because I know that, like, uh, Stefanos, you know, you, you had to leave the show in particular for something that was work-related, and, and you don't work in cooking in particular as your, I, I would say, your main profession. Uh, you know, what was your was your third, the, the original third, was he a cooking professional, or was he also in some other field? Also in some other field, but... Then that's, that's a big risk to take. You know, like, oh, I'm well, going to go on the great food truck race, and then... I mean, take, and he can uh, follow direction really well. So, you know, he can he can chop, and he, he's got all this down, which, if, as long as John and I were there, we hit... We cook together all the time. Our, our, our families have restaurants. Oh, no, I mean, I, in, I get why he didn't come. Because, I mean, like, it's one thing if you're in giggity. the field, and it's like, well, I have yeah. to give up my job in the field. But it's, it's yeah. not like, it doesn't correspond a lot. You can't go back and be like, hey, I'm a welder. I was on the great food truck race. Like, that doesn't really, you're not going to get a lot from the, that. The correlation's not there. <laughs> no, none, it, none of our thirds, none of our thirds were into the food business at all. They were, uh, they were like, you know, they're just plain old reality TV stars, I guess. <laughs> hey, you know what? Sometimes that makes for great shows, right? Yeah. <laughs> 
how how have you guys seen a benefit from the show due to the fact you're in the field? Well, I honestly, like, I don't, I don't want to, you know, speak out of turn here, but like benefits from it so far have been a little shy, mostly because of the timing with the, the, the show airing and, so and then so everything forth. breaking down. I like, mean, we've we've got a lot of, I guess you would say, local, you know, appreciation and feedback. Um, mm-hmm. We recently brought home a food truck, which the neighborhood and many of our friends uh, were quite happy about. I think awesome. Jason may be sending you some photos. Yeah, I don't know if I have it on. I'm, I'm working on two phones here, guys. I'm like a drug dealer. Uh, so. <laughs> like, like. <laughs> yeah, well, I, like, I, you know what? I was just going to let that one run and see what happens. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, you know, so I mean, like, we've we've been steadily progressing, but I, we, we haven't had as much uh, love as we would have wanted. You know, we didn't get to do our, for the premiere, we wanted to do like a premiere party. We didn't get to do yeah. that, you know, so, um, and I mean, we were even talking about, you know, as, as teams meeting up at the finale, and it doesn't totally. even seem like that's going to happen, so it's, we're, we're, we are going to have to make that happen in the future. But, well, the good news is, a ton of restaurants have closed, <laughs> yeah. so there's a, lot of, there's a lot of opportunity now. That, that is, that is very true, uh. Do you? Yeah. All right. He's sending you some uh, yeah. food truck photos right now. These aren't. It's not actually wrapped yet, but this is this, this is, is the the, the digital design. I don't know if you can pull that up on your phone. Uh, hey boys. Dude. Yes. Good mock up. You so got we, the truck ready? We we have the truck. It's at the place um, for them to wrap. Uh, this is just like the digital version. They haven't wrapped it yet. Um, this is like what we're working on right now with the designer. Awesome. Nice. So it's kind of an homage to our truck that we had on the show like right. if you zoom in like it's got like the wood paneling and all that that we had on the show we just went with a darker color wood and we kept the flames we got rid of the grill and like kind of kept it very similar to the way the truck looked like because you know we really want to cool. we had a really this is way cooler by the way yeah well we hope so well yeah we, we would like Grant, to think I so think because we actually bad. got to design it <laughs> That's your fault, Dooley. Yeah, Dooley. It's not my fault. You're on restriction. Dooley's been, yeah, on, no. Dooley's been on restriction. He's grounded. <laughs> I'm on. I'm on work and home till and shots were fired. Slow which, down. Which is funny, by the way, because you come into more contact with people at work than you do over here. Uh, so back in to that now with like a hundred some odd rooms. Yeah. Well, all right. Back to the important people, Dooley. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. Guys, I'm uh, back <laughs> what did you think of everyone when, like, day one, when we first got there? Like, what were your first impressions of other teams? And, I, you know, I, I, you might have to caveat a little bit. Did you meet anybody, like, before, you know, like, we met somebody at the airport. So that's kind of a little caveat. Like, but what were your first thoughts of everybody? Um, well, my, actually, well, my first thought was about, uh, well, no. I, I guess, like, we're going to beat all these motherfuckers. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn right. Damn right. <laughs> Yo, you're boxing <laughs> yeah, In all fairness, I, I actually thought competition was steep. I thought Super Sope, and this is this is a very big nod to them, I thought they were going to be garbage, and I, I knew Coast was going to not be successful. All I all I knew is when I met everybody is that we had to beat the toast. So when you said that, <laughs> everyone said exactly. exactly. John said on a repeat. Okay, so for about I mean, while we were really losing in episode one, and they didn't really do a good job showing that because you know they have limited time, but we were we were about to actually give up. And for about I think seven hours, I was saying, John, you freaking loser, you're you're gonna lose to toast. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 this, this is gonna be bad this is gonna be bad because we still have to interview them and i really hope that they don't listen to many of these because i mean we didn't hide I, we didn't hide that we hated the toast truck like it, they are the opposite of like what we stand for and there's nothing fancy there's I, nothing i don't think anyone don't wanted to go home to them for something that i can make in five minutes yeah I, yeah like it's long, like, that was, like, a, that was the thing of the show, like, the season. Like, did you lose? I mean, we beat the toast truck. Like, that's all the that fucking matter. <laughs> <laughs> After that, we all felt like winners. Yeah, hey, we didn't go home first. You beat, oh, shit, Billy, come on. There he comes. Come on, hey, Billy. Hey, Billy. Hey, baby. You're sideways. Oh, well. That's turn bad. your phone and turn it back the other way. Oh, whatever. He's got no eye right now. Whatever. <laughs> 
Hey, Billy, hey, hey, hey. hold on, Billy. Can you can you talk real quick? I I don't think we have you on uh, volume here, Billy. This is like one of those shitty fucking like you're on mute. You're on mute. Please, if you can hear us, we're discussing toast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you came in at the perfect time. I'm trying to get on, trying to get on the computer right now. Uh, all right. Well, we'll give him a couple of minutes and we'll come back. I'll Billy, just uh. Right now, Bill. Anyway, hello, hello, uh, hello. Oh, well, we got so, him. We got him. We got him. Billy. Hey. Hey, hey. hey. Billy. Billy. Welcome, so, hey, Billy. Billy. One, two. Billy, one, two. Billy, one, two. <laughs> <laughs> we made it. We made it. <laughs> Yeah, you have great timing. We were just discussing what did you guys think about everyone else, and of course, we all talked about how no one wanted to lose to the toast truck. That was just like the goal: beat toast. Oh my God, fuck toast! <laughs> <laughs> don't hold back, Billy. No, Let them know how I'm, it really I'm just is. <laughs> you know what? I, hey, I uh, I don't I don't have any right to say anything at all. You know, I came on the show as a as an amateur, and uh, you know. Uh, I, I have the utmost respect for toast and everything that they did. And but speaking, holy speak, shit, they were fucking toast. Speaking of amateur, <laughs> Billy, uh, thank God this isn't a video cast. Are you recording your ceiling? Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we, we're looking at your laptop now. Can, can you switch? Oh, my God. Hey. Hey. Don't, oh, don't, Billy, don't look at my Billy. Billy. Don't, hey. <laughs> He's not wearing pants. Don't, don't, don't look at my pants. <laughs> Don't look at my past websites. Hold on. Here we go. Okay, here we go. There we go. Right. That's, better. That's better, Billy. Right. You, man, you need some sun there, Billy. You need your little Oh, my God. Hey, I've been trying to get it. I've been trying to get it here in Chicago. It's not easy to come by. I'll tell you that right now. I, I'll take your word for it just by the amount of white glare that was that was coming off those legs. That was, <laughs> Wait, hey. if, you've, if you've seen the hot dogs' as legs meme, I mean, that's about as close as you can get on a dude. That's for a second I thought we were fucking fans only with Billy. <laughs> Oh yeah! Did you I pay totally the three? Did buddy. you pay the three ninety nine? Shit! <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Yeah. So we've covered. So we've covered who everybody thought was the worst because I think we, we all wanted. We all wanted to be toast. Everybody wanted to be toast. Who? Who was your concern? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Stefano, man. You came out with a baklava in the room when we all first met, and I was. Uh, I was impressed that you carried it on your lap on the plane. Like, yeah. That was. That was I, I do it. That I was a nice touch. Christmas oh, that was a nice touch. I like that. But I mean, like, who were you worried about in that main room? The, uh, first impression. Uh, it wasn't about the main room. It was after the first competition where our opinions really formed, um, and it was it was Tiki and Munch ladies because they were neck and neck in that first competition. Mm-hmm. No, it, it was uh, it was Crystal. Crystal. Crystal yeah. and like, was it Crystal? But we okay, so we were never worried about Crystal because uh, Crystal's yeah. comfort food came out with that damn deviled egg. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah the one we licked the plate. That's right. That's that's when we started. Like, oh shit, yeah, Crystal's got a little something. Yep. All right. So, yeah. well, wait, here's here's one for you. Since we did bring up the fact that you had four members on the show, uh, we we obviously as Team Fat Kid have a, a you know a passion for. For bacon. <laughs> oh, Dooley! Oh, were, no fucking Dooley! <laughs> were you ever worried that pistachio just might, you know, disappear and end up on a special board somewhere? You know, he 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 screams. He's a baby, and so whenever whenever anyone gets near him, he's nervous. He's <laughs> you, you can hear him laugh. Okay. He kind of sounds like a duck now. I don't know what happened. To him. <laughs> okay, I got you. Um, I know, I know. You pressed him too far, Spana. We, we got some real pig squeals going on for you, so we got some some sound effects you can listen to later. But yeah, we we we, we can cover for a pistachio. I wanted to send this. His, down. his squeak just doesn't come through quite as loud. Uh, his voice box is all messed up, you know, from like the heroin addiction. So, <laughs> so while we're playing, Stefano, check your speak, phone. Speaking of LA, um, <laughs> heroin addiction. Oh, my bad. My bad. Yeah, whatever. I don't live in LA. It's fine. Uh, what about traffic on the four hundred five, gentlemen? Like. <laughs> How show, was, show it to pistachio. How was driving the truck <laughs> on the 405? Oh, God. Dude, dri- driving that truck, 
for you know, in traffic while trying to follow all the other trucks and like listen to like the producers and like take instruction was it, it was brutal so brutal was that your first time I, on the west coast I think I've been there a couple times before, but um, I never had to like travel once I got there. I just like went to Manhattan Beach and just like that was it. That's all I did was stay there. You weren't you weren't driving like a twenty seven foot food truck around. <laughs> no, no, not the first time. John Try drove it. a half truck for about a year though. Oh, so yeah, the reason why I was a truck driver is because I, I opened a restaurant for my dad, and I actually did the construction. He had a, he owned a half semi. And it was just easier for me to just use that truck only. So for a year and a half, I drove a truck that size as my car. And I actually, nice. actually valeted it downtown. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know where to park. And so I'm going to say, I handed it to the valet. And they were like, what do you want to do this thing? I was like, you're valet. Figure it out. <laughs> where, where do you want to park it? I don't, give a, I don't give a fuck where you park it. I don't, I don't think anybody's going to steal it. Just park it on the side of the yeah. road. Like, oh, fuck it. I, I just want it back when I come out. <laughs> was, all right, so, so the truck you were driving uh, your, uh, for your like your your personal vehicle was it was it automatic too? It or did, a, or yeah, did, it you didn't have the eighteen speed. <laughs> no, it was it was gas. It was not jackknifing no, anywhere no, in there. Like, did it did it have AC? Yeah, yeah, but it also had rats living in it. <laughs> <laughs> Like, so like, trade off. Yeah, it's called a trade off. I was trying to eat in like rat fur. Like, like, my face. It had AC, <laughs> but it had rats. I yeah. have AC, but I'm also living with other creatures. You got to so. take the good with the bad sometimes, man. The good with the bad. Uh, Some fucking ratatouille shit right there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> if you've ever had rat fur sprayed in your mouth, <laughs> what? I have. <laughs> like out of the AC vent, just shot you in the face while you're driving. Oh, so I had to turn down like just the low fan, so all I could do is smell the dead rats that have been like you know whatever. <laughs> He's gonna make me throw up. <laughs> another restaurant, by the way. It's a totally different state. The truck has been gone for a long time. We're just going to clear yeah, that out. The rats were in the front of the truck, not the back of the truck. <laughs> I, I still, I don't know if that's better. Like, I, I just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, so um, what, and you guys, uh, when we talk about ourselves, like, there's no, there's no whole, like, we, thick skin here, man. Um, what did you think about us when you first met us? Well, we thought you guys were kind of screwed being on the West Coast and being the like the fat kid's truck. Like we, I think you guys admitted that really early on. Like, yeah, we're, we're not in the right place for this. Time. In, All these damn vegans. We're and in shit. vegan country. <laughs> yeah, you were in vegan country, so we were like, fat kid's gonna have a little, little, little problem with that. We yeah. knew you were legit. I mean, I'm not kidding. We definitely knew you were legit. And uh, hearing what your menu was, we are very interested in eating all of your food and talking to the other trucks being. I tried everyone's food but yours, and I am very sad about it. I think you're the only person that got to eat everybody's food that we've talked to. Because we've asked every team so far, like, did you get to try anybody's food? And a couple of people have been like, we got to try, like, one thing. Mostly, like, when they were teamed up. So, like, mm. yeah. did we even Stephen eat? Stephen got to try their food because he went back in, like to L.A. while they were playing. And he actually went around to the last three I was drugs. in Santa Barbara, and I actually they didn't put it on TV, which is too much to explain, so it makes sense. I ate at all their food trucks, and I actually, uh, was, I actually saw on your Instagram that you were like still dabbling in with a lot of the other teams during the show going on and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah, Mystica, we live just three hours south of Mystica, so we visited each other three. We've seen him three times total since the show. Nice, so, oh shit. Uh, yeah, in Santa Barbara, what, I got this. What, what's funny is like, uh, you know, if this was just like out and about, and you know, I was walking around and going to a food truck. Actually, probably Team Fat Kid is probably the only team that I probably would go up and try their food at the food truck because that's typically what I eat. (laughs) Well, you hold it well. You hold it well. It doesn't show. And I really, that that sandwich, the breaded pork. uh, Oh, the triple B. Yeah. Oh, that looks so good. I, I had never seen the sandwich until I watched the show. <laughs> I, I, I've had four or five of my friends text me specifically about the 50 there, and one of them made it and said it was fun. Perfect, man. Well, we appreciate that. Um, 
So we know what you thought about us. What did you think about Tyler the first time you met him? I think Tyler's great. No, <laughs> Tyler's actually totally like a guy that you would I can see totally having a beer with and like shooting the shit with. Uh, but he had, he had, you know, he was a little tough on the show, especially in that first episode with us. Uh, and I think well, he was a little jealous, Justin, maybe not to talk, not to, not to talk shit, but. <laughs> so was know, that real know, or was that staged through your producer? That was real. Oh, that, no, that was fucking real. That was that was real. Tyler <laughs> <laughs> doesn't like that was stuff real for knows. sure. Yeah, yeah, I mean, so. like, well, we had total like. R- I mean, I was a total rookie uh, going on to that thing, and I still am. But uh, you know, I think that was a that was a reality check right from the get go. Billy, yeah. so I could I could tell I could tell the severity of what you said just by the fact that Billy, you're a smiler. <laughs> and when you said when you said that was real, there was no smile. Yeah, that, that smile like, ran away from your face. That was like, real. That was really real. happened. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Tyler. So he obviously didn't like me, which is fine. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say really nice things about him due to the fact that uh, a lot of the producers have worked on many Food Network shows. And so the same with camera guys and sound guys. And they all said, Tyler, Tyler learns their names. Tyler is really nice to all of them. And that's actually really rare in the Food Network. Tyler's a good guy. I was show steely. And it may have come off as that I didn't give a fuck because I was, I was uh, so out there. And that probably pissed Tyler off. And if I was the host of the show, I could see being pissed off at me very easily. My well. my favorite part of the entire all, all the shows, every show, the best part was Stephen Spray panning himself, being like, the babes don't like 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 ten points. And Tyler looks at him like, who the fuck are you? Right before we get read. And it was so there, there was one point was in Santa, Santa Monica. <laughs> <laughs> there was one one point in Santa Monica where I went up to I think uh, our cameraman because we weren't really doing anything. I think we just sold out everything, <clears throat> and uh, I was like, "So what's a great garnish to something that you're just kind of passing out to people?" And he's like, "What?" I'm like, "Sweat." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, see yeah, uh, yeah. Stefano, Stefano, <laughs> Stefano, oh there wow. it is, <laughs> spraying himself down <laughs> with the gold chains." <laughs> I think it was I think it was when. And you were spraying yourself. I was like, I, yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's, a, that's, that's a the perfect way. face yeah. right there, dude. That's, that's a great, great zoom in. Like, oh, you can't dude. fake that hate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that Reality TV is real, and that hate. Is real. I will. I will say, like Tyler was hard sometimes. Like he would come off a little aggressive, but he had like valid points. Like he wasn't just being yeah. aggressive to be oh, aggressive. For sure. Like that. I. I don't. I wouldn't say he was necessarily mean. You know what I mean? Like he was again aggressive, but for a point. Like it was, uh, it was uh, constructive criticism all the way. We like every time we did. I, I, here's what I think: the only, the only buddy, the only people that were really mean was you when you said that we couldn't cook. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I told. I don't remember which one it was because it was the last night, and I, I, I was drunk. I, I looked at one of you before I left, and I was like, "Hey, just know." We talked a lot of shit. Yeah, you told fun. me that. You told yeah, me that. Right. You told so me that. Like, <laughs> it's all good fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm just letting you, told you me know. That. And, we we what? and that's why, and this is why I showed up 15 minutes late. Thank <laughs> <laughs> <Despite> you. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, it's okay. We have a dually. We're used to being late. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the late one, that motherfucker couldn't Man, make like, call I one time. <laughs> like, I got it with Billy. Like, I guess we were, like, just showing up to the party or, like, to the area and everything. And I'm just yeah. talking to Billy. And I'm like, I don't know if it's going to show up in the show. But Eric told us to be complete dicks to y'all because... Fuck it. Like, <laughs> right. Our, kitchen. our producer directed us to talk shit specifically about you. More than anybody else. Yeah. 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 Makes sense. Two straight good, white male food trucks. Yeah, it was a good rivalry. But hold on. I want to revisit something yeah. because Stefano. Oh, yeah, we're, we're guilty of all sins. All <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, well, someone asked us at one point if we were going to drink and smoke our way through the show, and I thought that was like a legitimate question. Like, like, everybody's planning and like calling people, and it's like, what'd you guys do last night? 
Oh, dude, we hit like eight bars. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? What did the brothers? What brothers' kitchen do? Well, they hit about eight bars. Like, so yeah, that's all right, reasonable. Yeah, no, that's. But you said that uh, Tyler didn't like you because you were a show stealer. Uh, I have a question because now here's here's my thought on that. Like, Mystica Misala had a full on character show stealer. Why do you think that Tyler? Like, do you think that? I, I don't know. Like, I'm just curious. Like, if it was a show stealer thing, why wasn't it Mystica Masala that pissed him well, off as well? So you're, you're, well? Obviously, what you're hinting here is... I, 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 one, halfway through that question, I realized where I was going with it. Yeah. Um, the um, show. What, what, I, what I'll break it down. I, I'm blunt. Don't worry. Do you, I, <laughs> since, since halfway through my question, I realized it. Do you think that the fact of it was a Mystica Sala being a... Uh, a gay thing that he wouldn't like LBT necessarily too. be as aggressive about oh, like if it if it is about being a show stealer so, thing okay so that's a very valid question but i truly believe that stefan was trying to be a douchebag so you know what i mean and like the speaking of Sala, like it had it had like it had like a hint of what they're about they're like they are the drag food truck yeah i was naming after them you know but i mean I, he's the shirtless chef the point, and there probably is something there you, but, you can easily shit on us. I yes. mean, it, we're, we're, we, we were the easiest target, and we got hit, and you can't do that. Wow, well, I mean, we could get really deep yeah, here. Yeah, we, we, we can't. You, we can't, can't. you can't do that to most of the other trucks. Yeah, but for yeah. us, you can shit on Society will be like, that's fine. But if you shit on most yeah. other trucks, you're right, you're you, will right. Get, you will get so yeah. much backlash. Yeah. And I, it was fun because Twitter blew up on oh, how much yeah. of a douchebag I was, and I think that's very fun. <laughs> there's no, there's no <laughs> such thing as bad publicity, sir. It's not about what yeah. they say, it's that they're talking about you. Well, it's not only about being able to take the heat and, and being an okay like race and sect to take the heat, right? Um, but then, like, I really enjoyed reading all our bad reviews, which was my favorite part of it. I, I saw you guys did a, a, a YouTube I video on that. I think that was that. so yeah. hilarious. That was, that was pretty funny. There were, that, was it two videos or was it a two-parter? It was, it's been a while since I watched it. John and I both had two separate okay. videos. Okay. Hey, at least you guys had reviews. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, at least they cared. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a, that's the thing. Like, we, we episode one, we had three or four X the most tweets about our about us being douchebags. <laughs> Not that it was positive. Then any other truck on the show, but it's because Tyler reamed us for being dirty and I'm stupid. It, yeah, it's we, kind of uh, funny that you said that because I had a few friends that – uh Facebook messaged me. They're like, "Those fucking bachelor kitchen guys, man, fucking douchebags." <laughs> I, I want to address like, something because this is a really good segue. So, uh, you know, Stefan, I, I don't, I don't think you're stupid, but I think you play the character rather well. <laughs> and I, this is kind of go ahead, I, go ahead, and then I'm going to lead into something. Yeah. So I. I wore gold chains and had a man brand neck tattoo, which is a company I'm starting and like went for it because I'm on a food cooking challenge show and I want to have fun with it. Like, I'm not going to sit there and be a stick in the mud and, and uh, the once <coughs> lunch ladies, <coughs> shots fired, shots fired. Do it again. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. So I mean, and the other thing is like, go ahead. No, 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 because finish, finish what you were going for. Oh, I was going to say it was, it was a lot of fun, and I really, truly, I don't know if we were unique. The producer said we were in a in a cast, but we, I fucking loved everyone in that show, and it was so much fun. And the opportunity to to have a good time with it was there, and I didn't, I, the last thing I wanted to do was to be a competitive mess. Like I just, you're all fucking awesome, and like I can't wait to hang out with you later. Like it's gonna happen. I, no, I agree. I agree, I agree with you on the later. During the show, no, we were we were like fuck everybody. Just, yeah, we, 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 didn't hang, we didn't we didn't hang out with anybody. <laughs> until I, that, I, do, I do have a question. Until that last night, we were. Oh, uh, that sucks. Did it? Did it actually work that time, motherfucker? Uh, all right. I, I can fix it. I haven't signed up for Zoom. If I host a meeting, well, yeah, you can host a meeting. We could set up a new meeting, but then we, he's just gonna call me. That was the plan. We planned it out ahead of time, guys. So there it is. Fuck, it's set up a Zoom. 
You still there? We can, we, I'm trying to join back in. Should we try that as well? Uh, so I can FaceTime in Dooley and Billy. Yeah, I mean, if you want to do it that way, like, so at least we had a backup plan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was smart enough to give you my phone number before yeah. this shit started. Um, I've had your, Alex, I've had your phone number. Oh, you did? Yeah, oh, you I, keep looking at their picture and trying to fix the phone. I love that shit. I mean, you can FaceTime or Alex is setting up a Zoom right now. I was going to. Uh, 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 whatever. Well, oh, that's Dooley. Dooley's texting. So sorry, guys, on the podcast. Uh, we're fine. gonna we're gonna pause a break, and then we're gonna come right back and with Bachelor's Kitchen once we set up the call again. Hold on, hey, you guys. This podcast is brought to you in affiliation with Stitcher Podcast Radio. Uh, Head on over to hello, Stitcher. Hello. Hello. Four slash premium. Is it working? I got booted. For only four ninety nine a month. Use uh, promo code Team Fat Kid for get one month absolutely free. Stream and download all your favorite podcasts, such as this one. Oh Team God. Fat Kid choose the fat. Conan O'Brien needs a friend. My favorite murder, Wolverine, The Lost Trail. Alex's favorite, Bitch Sesh. You get the Fantasy Footballers, Science Rules with Bill Nye, and many, many more. We're talking 21,000 premium hours of podcasting. That is 2.4 years. You get all the bonus episodes. You get the ad-free shows. You get Dooley's favorite 300-plus comedy albums. You can check out all the new releases before they come out. And just remember, all you have to do is head on over to Stitcher.com forward slash premium. Sign up and use the promo code TeamFatKid. Test it out for a month absolutely free on us. Thank you for listening. We'll talk to you guys in a little bit. If this shit go. All right, so we're on the phone with Billy from The Bachelor's Kitchen because we're in the middle of a Zoom reboot. Billy, go. What do you got? Oh, I don't have, I don't have much to say. I mean, just, uh, hey, hit, hit me with the questions. I got the real story. I got the <laughs> real All right, one. What? Here. I got a great one. What was your first thought when John blew his fucking hair up? <laughs> Wait, what? When, and when he was lighting the truck and he left the gas on and lit himself on fire? Oh, my God. It, it was the funniest thing. Actually, that's what made the highlight for me of why, you know, I stayed and kept going on this thing was I was like, Johnny, you really <laughs> ripped this thing. It was the greatest thing in the entire world. Like, uh, that really, that really fucking made the whole I mean, thing. I could see, I could see, like, the burnt hair and everything, so I know that it was legit. <laughs> like, I just want to know, why was he lighting it up in the parking lot? I think that we were trying to get a head start. I think we were trying to, like, sneakily get, you know, like a, like a... Get your you know, shit hot like, while you're... Like a leg up and, like, you know, get the thing going just to, just to do it. And then, uh, but then... I'm sitting in the like the sidecar and I hear <laughs> just like this <laughs> just this like whole thing. I see like the flame come out like the side of the door. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> this has gotta be something good. And of course it happens to John. Alright, so Stephanos is on the link, so we're gonna switch we, we got Dooley back as well. We got Dooley back, so you gotta click the link and jump back in on the other zoom. Uh, I'll switch over. Alright. You might have to text Stefan. I, I sent it to him. Where'd he go? I don't, I don't know. We'll figure that shit out. There. That wasn't supposed to happen. All right. Hold on. <laughs> can we hear a... Uh, still recording? Can I get a mic check from Dooley? Dooley, I got a mic. And huh? Stefan, can I get a mic check? Check, check. All right. Everybody's back. We got to get... Did you send it to Billy? I did send it to Billy. I sent him a text. Let him know it's in his email. He'll be on in a second. We're how long into the podcast? Huh? That's really, how long um, into this podcast? It's 34 only like minutes. thirty-four minutes in the podcast, but we were bullshitting way before, and like this is the first time that uh, we actually got kicked out of a Zoom. <laughs> yeah. When that happened, I was like, "Are either Alex is a dick and kicked me out?" <laughs> Yo, I didn't. All right, first off, I didn't kick you out intentionally last time. It was just like we ended the Zoom, and you happened to be in it, and so you were out of the podcast. Yeah, I know that. Like going but are you still there stuff on us oh yeah yeah all right so uh we're, lady to back we're, waiting, we're waiting for shit. billy to come back on but while we're like while we're bullshitting around waiting for him to come back in he was just telling us a story about when john lit himself on fire in the truck in the video i was gonna, I was gonna bring that up like i wanted to segue into that too i mean that's just fucking incredible the best part is john literally could have died on tv <laughs> Yeah, seriously. Like, John blew the fucking food truck up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
perfect timing on both Billy coming back and John. It's, it's beautiful so yeah, we were, timing. Like when, like, because when Stefano was left the call and like to reboot the Zoom, Billy was just telling us about John setting himself on fire. Because <laughs> we wanted to. Know, I mean, like, that was that was hand, uh, that was hands down uh, one of the. I I laughed and John and I laughed for like fifteen minutes. Straight. He can't, I mean, John. <laughs> I love I'm, John. I'm, I'm so like, glad it, that you're not. It hurt. was so funny. It, it was ridiculous. John John came out of the truck laughing. I mean, like, when the first thing he did was, like, laugh and come out of the truck, like, I smell burnt hair. He's like, oh, shit. <laughs> I, like, we could see, like, uh, and they did a great job with the camera because we could see, like, the burnt hair in your beard and everything. Oh, so, like, yeah. it, it was so face. good. It was yeah. so good. Like, when oh, was but it was also, it was also so part. good afterwards because the, the top part of his hair, you know, was... <laughs> totally just like singed back like right here <laughs> and he had the beard and he had the beard going and then but what also was was great was his arms you know because he had you yeah, know, both arms. around his arms and it was just totally out uh, the, the, the best part of like okay so when we were watching the episode like me my parents and my sister were watching it they didn't know what happened so mm-hmm. uh, like, obviously like it blow up and then like commercial break I'm laughing hysterically because I know what happened. <laughs> yeah. And my parents and my sister are like, what What happened? I was like, he blew himself up. <laughs> <laughs> like, like what? I'm like, this boy, wait till it comes back from commercial. And then, like, you see the singed hair and the beard and everything. They're like, holy shit. And I'm just <laughs> dying hysterically. Just, I'm like, yeah, he fucking blew himself up. <laughs> my uh, my hair was something about married for the entire rest of the day, straight, straight up. And uh, John comes home, and I haven't seen him personally since uh, he blew himself up. And he he walked up the stairs, and I'm like, "What the hell, man?" And he's like, "What?" And I was like, "Half your beard is still gone. You had a beard, <laughs> didn't fix it." And he was like. I guess not. And I was like, yeah, it was, I guess a, not. It was over, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, all of us working in the industry, like, the three of us, <clears throat> like, we've all seen this happen before. Like, so when it happened, I knew immediately what you had done. But mm-hmm. just to watch it happen, like, in, re- in real life, like, on the food truck, <laughs> race, like, it killed me, dude. I was laughing so fucking hard, man. Like, it was... It, that was so let me, let me let me give a little of the backstory too. So like I I wanted to like get the corn cooking because corn takes a while to cook. So I had I had turned on all the gas and then um, uh, the the producer Sophie was like, "Hey John, you know because they're always bugging you." And I'm like, "What? What? What?" And then, <laughs> and then I get into the truck in the front seat, right? And I'm like, I could smell the gas that filled up the entire truck. And for whatever crazy reason my idea was oh i better go light it right now <laughs> it, yeah, it, worked. it started <laughs> so instead of going off and turning off the gas i was like i better turn this bitch on and uh, <laughs> your truck was filled with gas was, you know, just, what? Just, john what did it look like from your point of view like <laughs> the, did it just a flash well, my, eye, my like, eyes were closed so i knew shit did was you, going down did you just like feel it go across you did it like i don't yeah I, no it was uh imagine just like um a fire extinguisher except the opposite <laughs> <laughs> okay that, that's what's funny is i was telling him before before you guys got cut out is I was sitting in the car, in the side car to the left side, to the left side and uh, and the door was closed. And all of a sudden, I heard. Look, <laughs> 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 like the top flap of the, the roof oh, just like pops up and closes. <laughs> John's dead, and this is the most epic portrait. What, what better truck? to have an explosion on than the bachelor's kitchen. <laughs> I will say I'm sorry that it happened to you, but thank God they got I'm it on camera. So funny. Best, I'm not. It's, it's like bachelor's like, kitchen now no. down to one one <laughs> contestant. No. Bachelor's kitchen down now to one contestant. John blew himself up. <laughs> <laughs> Stefano's had to leave. It's just Billy. It's just Billy and Pistachio gonna rock this shit out. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> all right, so, so all right, no, before that's a segue. we before we it is before we got cut out of the podcast, we were uh, kind of talking about how you guys, and especially Stefan, you you portrayed a role uh, and uh, of kind of being the stupid guy, uh, buff, muscly, stupid guy, and that's you rude. you had to leave the show. Um, again, kind of proving to those of us that know that you're not quite that guy. Are you able to talk about why you left it all? If not, you don't have to. But, you know, um, even if you could just say what industry you work in, I think we'd provide some, yeah. you know, perspective to people that you, it's they, not it's not all about how they portray us all the time. That's one of the biggest questions we get asked, like, uh, from people who've seen the show and, like, run into us. And they're like, why does Stefanos have to leave the show? And I was like, I mean... Tell them the story. We don't know. Because <laughs> we, we, we had a big fight. That's what you want to know, right? <laughs> uh, he had a warrant. Officer. Oh, yeah. I mean, to keep it high level, I'm an insurance officer at a tech company, which means I do all the cybersecurity privacy and uh, ethics. And so all that falls under my lap. And then there was something went off, and I had to be there to take care of it. So I had to go to a client site. I flew out. I flew home. I got prepped, and then I flew out to the client side Monday or Tuesday. So that wasn't something that you could just like have dialed in and done. No, because I'm because it falls under me. I had to take care of all of it, and I was I got like really inundated with work. Uh, I mean, it happened, and then we had to take care of it, and it's a, like tons of forensic works and all that stuff was going on, and I had to be there and. Uh, I, it was actually, I was super lucky. Things happened in the timeline they did because we had a day off and these guys didn't even see me. I woke up and worked out and then it was, then things got really wild. And so. Yeah, that's true. And, and people, people thought that I, because I'm such a bad cook, that I orchestrated this whole thing, that I tried to go on to the show. And then it's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> These guys, I, I, I was a fill-in for for a guy who was actually supposed to be on this prior and yeah, uh, cook and you know food oriented beforehand. Billy, I've seen you squeeze uh, uh, lemons, man. Look, you you got, you got some cooking skills, all right. I hey, did. I did. Those wanna, hands, like, Billy. Oh, those hands. It was a great segue because remember they teamed us up. And what was the name? What was the name of our, our, our team up? Remember, we had the team up. It was, it was, we were eloquence. <laughs> yeah, which, which is the right. worst name for Team Packet and Bachelor's Kitchen ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we wanted Nemesis. We it did want Fortuna Nemesis. And Nemesis yeah. and Eloquence, and it was like we even expected them to go Eloquence, and they were like Nemesis, and it was like. Fucking really? Yeah. So this like, is. Are this you, guys, <laughs> is it, are you punking us right now? Like, what the fuck is going wait, on? Wait, wait. Who picked Nemesis? Uh, got, I think it was the Crystal's, Crystal's team went with uh, like Crystals and Crystal and Super Sope. Super Sope. Yeah, because... they went with Nemesis because <laughs> Fortuna was taken by Lunch Ladies and. Uh, but yeah, no, that was like. I, I just want to go on record. The only cool name in that whole set was Nemesis. Well. For dudes, for, for, yeah. for tuna and eloquence. <laughs> for dudes, like yeah. you, like the only way I would name my million dollar yacht for tuna is if I was taking it tuna fishing and that's a total east coast like you know outer banks north carolina thing like a lot of tuna yeah. down here you know and like and the tuna championships are done here and like honestly if anything eloquence should have been lunch ladies and mystica no cuz yeah. they're still eloquent with Dooley's everything eloquence they do. all day <laughs> look at him <laughs> He's got the they have, got what? Bro. they have a food truck and they're wearing a dress. I mean, that's eloquent. <laughs> so, I all think, right. I think another good name would be Team Toast. T- team, team Toast. To- team Toast. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what would be a great idea for a food truck? <laughs> Just making nah. toast? I mean, you know what though? I mean, grilled cheese is pretty much just like cheesy toast, and they fucking kill it. So I, something's got to be said for that. My favorite part was when they were they were they were like making. They were like, we can only work as fast as the toaster. And I was oh, like, dude. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> I, 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 I lost it. I like, mean, I, 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 first off, if that's, and, if that's and, your and only like, way of cooking <clears throat> toast, is you not bring more than one. And second, like 
You have you have this a entire like you have a whole truck, but there's a flat top. Yeah. It's huge. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, I've, I've said this to the lunch ladies and the Sega thing it was, and uh, like uh, Pres- uh, Presley, I think her name was. Yeah. Um, like she came out of the truck and she's like starting to sell to people and everything, and I'm just eating a piece of bacon at the doorway of the truck. She's like, "Oh, eating your own product." I'm like, "Yeah, we sold out." And just the look in her <laughs> face, like, I wish the cameras got it. She was uh, like, oh, fucking shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we, we need to do some shit. So she's like, uh, if you do a burpee, you get some for free. I'm like, that's not how this game works. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And all that was on Santa Monica. And, like, she's running up and down the entire fucking pier and shit like that. Or the boardwalk and everywhere. everywhere. And I'm like, I'm following her. Like, Jason wanted to get somebody a cigarette. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get somebody a cigarette now too because we're already done and i see her like way the fuck down the way and i'm like yeah they're not gonna run to your truck to get a dollar toast or some shit yeah. like that like <laughs> y'all had some bad marketing on your on your end <laughs> where where were you guys parked in santa monica were you because i think it went like it went us then they the were, t- toast and then crystals come you were, you were close to the middle weren't you we were we were uh middle we were one away from crystal's comfort food. Okay, so yeah, you were. What did you guys think of Santa Monica? Like that was the only time they gave us a place to park where we were all competitively selling next to each other. What did you guys think about? I, I've never been to Santa Monica before that day. Um, even though I have friends that evidently live there, and they just never told me they live in Santa Monica. Until, I was never out of the state. until like until like the show airs, and they're like. Holy shit, you were in Santa Monica? Why didn't you call me? It's like, bitch, I didn't know you lived in Santa Monica. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I, Santa Monica is awesome. It's a great tourist spot. We were we were right in the thick of it. It's, it's the thing about LA in general is that what? Wait, are you stopping it? Yeah, somebody somebody just had some massive interference going on there. But I, it, I blame Dooley. It stopped. So yeah, we're gonna keep we're gonna. Right, so, so please continue, Santa Monica. Uh, so LA in general is cameras don't do you anything because they're so used people there are so used to it and like they don't want to be bothered with it where when you're in anywhere else San Diego uh, Palm Springs Palm Springs it's a huge deal to have cameras on you and like you're in the newspaper and all this stuff but in LA like cameras almost make you blend in and people just couldn't give two fucks about uh, a food truck show being filmed so yeah, it was they're trying to like dwindle away from it yeah, yeah, and being next to each other actually was harder there because they, people had so many options. Where if we were again at Palm Springs, it happened. I think it would have been really interesting, and like, you would have been in the news. You, everyone would have had lines. Speaking of Palm Springs, and I think I can speak for the whole team. We were so pissed off at John and Billy that they beat us in Palm Springs. <laughs> yeah, well, fair enough. You don't want to lose the team that's down to two people. Right. And it, like, yeah. it, like, And you're making salads in, like, what the fuck? How are they winning these competitions? <laughs> Granted, we ran into a lot of vegan people at our second location. Yeah, like, we're, we're like, after our first yes, location... Well, you guys, you guys, you guys went to the pop place, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, we definitely. I, we were I out, don't we, know what you're talking about. It, it was a hookah lounge, <laughs> sir. <laughs> but, <laughs> the, the, there was, there was uh, at the second location. There was this one guy Jason was trying to sell to. Like Alex and Jason were there trying to sell, and then Jason was like, "Hey, you want to try? I think trophy or whatever the fuck it was." He was like. Don't you know what they do to the animals? And Jason's like, uh, <laughs> later, later, yeah. keep it okay. moving, motherfucker. Like, I ain't got time for you. Yeah. He's, he's on a bike and he stopped. Yeah. He stopped and started talking to us. Like, like, bye later, dude. Bye. Get, get the fuck, fuck out of here. <laughs> that's not making. That's not making TV. Because I was like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm on the truck and I'm like yelling out the fucking back door, like, yo, leave, bye, dude. Like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, maybe the pot shop was not the right last thing of like, hey, the camera draws the attention. And in Palm Springs, it definitely did. When you're in a Walmart and you're like, hey, so you get on TV and like, like that, you know, and you get a lot of foot traffic, that's probably what 
happens. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, Walmart. Was was a good one on y'all. Real fast, real fast. Who came up with the Walmart location? That shit was genius. Yeah, uh, John. Was, John. Julie, you want to mute? Oh, oh, yeah, what's going on? Johnny did all the locations. Billy, Billy mute. Billy mute. Even when you're not talking, you just look at Billy mute. <laughs> Atta boy. Atta boy. <laughs> all right there we go um Thank you. no yeah so it was uh actually okay so the way i got that location was like called and i got a hold of like a 14 year old girl which was perfect <laughs> right and she had and i was like you guys never, 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 which is like, never the usual thing that you want to hear uh, <laughs> and she had and she had she had the uh, attention of like the eighteen year old, like a really cute girl. Had the attention of the eighteen year old manager. He wasn't the main manager because we were in kind of like a ho dung town. He might have had like higher abilities than like an eighteen year old should have. So these girls are just like, oh my god, you gotta let him come. And we're like, and they're like, well, you can't make money. And I was like, well, technically, it's we're not making any money because I'm not keeping any of it. So I was like, so technically, it's a uh, nonprofit because I can't make any money. I uh, so, and she's like, like, you have to do it. You have to do it. And you could tell they were just owning this poor little nerdy kid who was like the manager. And like, so like, we should not have been allowed to do it at Walmart. <laughs> but like, the, we got, we got an 18 year old nerdy kid who, when I got old, like some 14, 16 year old, like cute girls who like begged him. I'm like, you have to do it. You have to. You know what, John? I mean, that that's a great fucking plan. I don't, I, I don't uh, know if you uh, planned it, but it worked out for you. Like. That <laughs> I love, I love the process. Like I got a hold of some cute little girl to get the young manager to say, "Oh fuck, hormones." <laughs> <laughs> like, I, <laughs> I can't say no to her. You guys want to get some drinks after so work? Funny walking in that cane on his shoulders and bounce up and down like, yeah. He's like, he's like, oh, okay, I'm, like, I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> oh god. You guys want to grab a yuho after work? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Yeah. So, uh, what was your favorite city? Stefan, I know your answer might be limited since they got a little more than you did, but... Uh, gosh, I mean, I, I know my least favorite city was Las Vegas. I mean, we lost in it, but that wasn't... I mean, I think it was just a... It was a tough city to um, to to sell anything in. And everybody had a place they're already going. Everybody had a meal already planned out. It was out. 110 degrees outside? Yeah, well, Palm Springs was 110 degrees too. It was, they, were, they were both miserable. But I think um, I think the best was Palm Springs because it was a nice small town where we kind of like you know we owned it. The, the show kind of owned that town for those two days. Whereas Las Vegas, you're you're nothing. L.A., you're nothing. Right. It's, 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 it goes back to like the TV camera. Like they don't care. For sure. I like Palm Springs because I hadn't been to Palm Springs. I've been to San Diego. I've been to L.A. Santa Monica area. Um, but Palm Springs was fun. And although I would have loved to have Stefan there and Stefan's been, you know, one of my best friends for a long time. For at I've least two John weeks. For a long time too. But I feel like in, in Palm Springs, John and I kind of were, we kind of like finally like kind of like meshed together. He became one of my good friends too. And I feel like that was a, uh, that was a really, really good spot. I mean, like John uh, rented a uh, a Jeep Cherokee and drove it around Palm Springs, and we went out, you know, uh, lunch and dinner together, and it was just, it was fucking phenomenal. I mean, like it's something I'll never forget. Did you guys hit the yeah. casino at all? No, no, no not, not even, insane. not even in, in Vegas. I am personally severely disappointed in both of you. <laughs> I'd probably put some money in a... Oh, you know what I did? Yeah, I, did. Yeah. I took $300 to a, to a blackjack table, and I was like, all right, it's either going to become 1000 in five minutes or zero in five minutes. And it became zero in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but I... Yeah, yeah. Well, like, and honestly, like when when we when we left in Palm Springs, and I was like, "Well, Bachelor's Kitchen's going to Vegas. There's no way John and Billy are making it out of Vegas." So I was like, "They're gonna party. The, they're gonna party the whole fucking time. There's no way they're gonna be able to fucking like Bachelor's Kitchen in Vegas. Just oh, sounds yeah. like so, a fucking great TV show." It's the only time. 
I think Vegas is the only time where I took a couple nights off. <laughs> I'm not I'm okay. to do it. So, like, yeah, I should know this. Uh, that I think like um, that uh, that lunch ladies and tiki masala have, and I think it's important to mention, is that tiki kind of had the gay community behind them, and the lunch ladies had like the teachers association behind them, and I don't think that gets mentioned very much. And we went to Las Vegas. We were, like, we're going to have bachelors behind us, right? And nobody gave a shit about us. Like anything, we call bachelor party places. We're like, oh, so you're too. Totally. And we, have, sure. we have that in common. Uh, you should probably just go fuck yourself. I'm busy. You know what I mean? There's no community of dudes or bachelors coming out to help other dudes or other bachelors. It's just, it's like All right. So right. in Vegas, it's like, well, you can get some bro dude food or you can hit the strip club. Yeah. Did you guys park outside a strip club? Because that would have been a good one. That would have been a great. That would have been a great one. We, I parked outside the sign. Um, the Las Vegas sign at the Harley Davidson place, and we and because there, there's the, that's the one of the biggest places. We thought we can walk across whatever to sell tacos to that gigantic line of people that are sitting there for an hour doing nothing. And then they didn't let us walk across because there wasn't a legal sidewalk. So my entire plan to sell to the thousands of people where there's no food or drinks Just basically was. Dilly, you're killing us here, man. Mute your phone. <laughs> what are you talking about? I have nothing going on. Yeah, yeah like you're, you're, just the feedback. Somebody's like, getting some echo here. We're blaming you. Mute your phone. Yeah, unmute it when you want to talk. Damn it, Dooley. Damn it, Dooley. <laughs> uh, All right. My, so, favorite, and we got we got okay. Billy with the ambulance driving by in Chicago. <laughs> like, it's like... <laughs> uh, LA was was very exciting due to the fact that. We we were one hundred percent positive we were gonna lose the whole time. We were this doesn't make it on the show, but we were we were in route to sell to give our food away to homeless people because I was I was like, dude, you guys fuck it. We've got four hundred dollars worth of food, we're going to lose. Let's give it away. And then the producer was like, Let me just call the executive producer and make sure it's fine. She's like, You can't go to so she calls um Peter and he said we can't go to Skid Row because typhoid fever is there, but there's a million homeless people in LA, so it doesn't matter. And I was like, That's fine. And he's like, and they were like, just give it one more shot. You guys really aren't that far behind. Uh, so just give it another shot. And I was like, I have one idea. And I called one of my buddies, uh, my and Billy's buddy from college. And I was like, hey, we're two blocks away from your place. We've got an hour and a half to sell. We're totally screwed. Uh, do you think we should give our food away to homeless people? Or do you think like we can give it one more push? He's like, let me circle the block. I'm going to find a parking spot and see if, you know, you guys can park there and uh, I'll double park and we'll see what happens. And he found one three seconds later and we pulled in and all we did was decide to sell the special as you all know. And, uh, it worked out. And the whole time when I was talking to like the camera guys and the boomstick, uh, the camera boomstick guy, I was like, this is the best comeback in the show's history. Like you guys, this is fucking wild. And they were like, yeah, we'll see. And then eventually they just started laughing at us. And I thought it's cause we're dumb. And, uh, later they were like, do you know why we were laughing at you? And I was like, I've cause you nailed it. Probably a bunch of reasons. Yeah, and they were like, because you, we knew you weren't going to lose, and we couldn't fucking believe it. And I was just <laughs> like, yeah, man. I mean, it, we were so down in the dumps. I've never been, I've never felt that shitty and that happy in one day in my life, much less 20 minutes apart from one another. I was holding the keys in my hand, because you're supposed to hand the keys to Tyler, right? I was holding the keys in my hand, waiting for him to be like, and the bachelor's kitchen lose. And I'm like, and as soon as we had won the thing, I was, I, I couldn't believe it. I, I was the most convinced that we were done. On that note, well, turn in those keys was, real fast, too, Billy. If, real fast, Billy. You know, me and Stefan uh, were in the car together, and then John, uh, you know, was in the truck. And for a long period of time, especially after hour two or three or something like that, Stefan and I are just like looking at each other. We're like, "Well, this is fucking over." <laughs> I mean, this is, you know, like this is stupid. And then John, you know, John's silent, uh, you know, on the on the call, so. Yeah, so we were all like totally uh, 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 had already mailed it in. Look at the hole in John's pants. Just <laughs> FYI. <laughs> Look at me. In my defense, that gigantic hole in my pants happened an hour ago. Yeah. Well, whatever, bro. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> you pe- pedal your lies somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Whose house are we yeah, at right now? Going. John, are we at your house or are we at Stefan's? Stephens, I we live, live together. Stephens. Oh, you guys live together? That's so, awesome. So, so wait, you're both at home. 
Yeah, we're rubbing them. So you're just walking around in pants with a gigantic hole in them for... Oh, man, he's got them furlough pants on. I can't even be mad. An hour ago. Dude, I never thought I would be a socialist. And, uh, I'm getting a grand a week. I thought, you know, like, who needs jobs or work? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Um, but real fast. You were going to uh, say something? Yeah. Um, you guys played the game extremely well. Um, you guys won challenges. Like, you guys did way better at that shit than we did. And, like, I honestly thought, like, fucking Tyler hates us, dude. Like, every fucking thing we throw at him. He just shits on it, dude. Like, we felt so fucking... After every fucking challenge, we felt defeated. Like, Well, that tuna like, salad did suck ass. The, it was all about the cut, bro. And I blame Dooley. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... And I knew that was going to come up. Because, um, like, you don't realize, like, when you're when you're filming the show. And, like, we're going up, like, you know, the gondola. Is that what it's called? They also wanted avocado. Yeah, like, yeah, we people. we didn't we didn't buy a single fucking avocado in California the whole time <laughs> we were there. But like we're going up there, and I was like, the only thing I said was like, Dooley, remember knife cuts, man. Make sure everything looks fantastic. I was like, that made we're, the show. yeah, we're giving this to Tyler. <laughs> and then like when I said it, I was like, fuck, that's gonna bite me in the ass, dude. They recorded the they recorded the audio, and now they're gonna fucking put it in Tyler's fucking ear. It doesn't matter what the fuck we do now. I'm gonna walk up there, and he's gonna say these fucking knife cuts suck. Like because I said. Damn it, Dooley. <laughs> you had one fucking job, man. <laughs> By the way, Dooley, it was definitely also your phone causing the feedback. Keep doing your little dance. Yeah, you, yeah, you can you can unmute to speak. How about that? Well, that's <laughs> <laughs> symbolism's good enough. Dooley with my assessment of the salad with his visual review and the audio people need what's going on. No, but like yeah, that that was it, the flavor on that salad was fantastic. By the way, it was just a knife cut suck, Dooley. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> gentlemen, oh, look. Oh, look. it's not your fault that the fat kids couldn't make a salad, like you mm-hmm. said on the show. It's not your fault. You yeah. weren't there to make salad. Yeah, like what? The fuck, actually, man, you got us running up the side of a fucking mountain with a salad, bro. Like, and then I holding it. I had that recipe uh, for for twenty years. That salad I made on there. And oh, I was, like, crossing that makes way more that's fucking why, sense. It didn't look like it was. That's why I had extra time. I had made that salad for ten years uh, every you know every day. So like I, I was able to like take their their whatever. It was actually a shrimp salad, but the tuna made it perfect anyway. So. That 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 salad was in my back pocket from before we ever entered the show. Like I, it was a perfect. Yeah, that makes right. way more sense because I was trying to figure out how Bachelor's Kitchen knows how to make a salad. Uh, my my addition was goldfish, but it didn't make it. it didn't make, uh, so all the jobs, all the jobs that I gave Billy for the salad, he screwed up, and I had to redo. And I still had plenty of time. <laughs> <laughs> what we'll do is we'll just crumble up goldfish on top of this bitch. It'll be delicious. It's like hey, hey. It's like put a oh, couple of oh, damn, cheddar goldfish on this bad boy. It'll come up real nice. All right. Well, I've I've got like one more main question for you because we're running out of time here. Uh, guys, do you think that if uh, Stefan didn't leave the show, you would have made it a, a little further? Or would it, oh, yeah. do you think? Oh yeah? yeah, look at that confidence. Oh hell yeah! No, Stefan actually, Stefan is the only reason we made it through episode one and episode two. Without Stefan, we would have made it through either of those. And yeah. then I just I happened to kick ass in the third episode because I got that Walmart thing. Oh hey, give me Stephen, a little credit. Give me a little credit. <laughs> and, uh, Billy was there. <laughs> Man, I the no, shit. Billy. No, Billy stole the shit out of it. You can sell like any, like nobody's business. Billy was. I I stopped the cameras a few times when Billy would say shit, and I'd be like, "That's the funniest goddamn thing I've ever heard." I really hope that makes the air. And very few did. Very, but, very few did. But Billy, uh, no, we, we had some moments like that. Yeah, trust oh, me. It's that's. I mean, like everyone. All right. So I don't know about you guys. A lot of people that we know asked us, like, "Why are you so excited to see the show?" And it's really because of only two things. Like, one, I want to see how they portray us. And two, yeah. I want to see what makes the air. Because, like, I know what happened. There's a lot of things that we thought went really horribly, but it didn't look that way on the air. And there's a lot of things that we thought went really well that when they put it on the air, look really bad. So, I mean. Again, again, like Jason and Alice already know, but the whole us leaving Palm Springs, the whole damn it Dooley thing. Oh, they didn't make the air at the end. Stefan like, wasn't why? there. Like, when. 
they when we walked away, like everybody yelled, "Damn it, Dooley!" It and was like, like a breakfast yeah. club leaving. Like Dooley put his hands up, like fingers in the air, <laughs> like, and everybody yelled, "Damn it, Dooley!" And it didn't make you. They did have a damn it in that episode, which pisses me off anymore, even more because it came yeah. from the lunch ladies. All right, guys, Am I so, not getting feedback anymore? Uh, we're gonna wrap this one up, guys. Uh, we got a little bit of time left, so if you would please quickly tell us what's going on in your lives coming up, and uh, yeah, you're definitely feeding back, Dooley. Um, <laughs> uh, let us know what's going on in your lives, shirtless chef. Let's start with you, Stefano. Let's go. Cool. Uh, well, still, if it wasn't for quarantine, I'd be cooking for bachelorette parties on occasion. Uh, I'm also working uh, regular job nine to five and consult for a few companies. But the cool thing that John and I might be doing is we were talking to investors in January and we randomly were like, Hey, you know what? If there's a turnkey restaurant that opens, then we can talk about uh, opening a restaurant. And awesome. there's a lot of those opportunities now in Austin. So we'll see, we'll see what happens there. Yeah. So basically that's it. We're just keeping an eye out for all those places that have now gone belly up for obvious reasons um so we're just keeping out for opportunities and we know that sba is probably going to be there for anybody trying to spend money do you best guys, of luck on that by the you, way <laughs> do you guys have any uh like especially shirtless chef do you have any instagram or like social media you want to plug uh the shirtless chef atx would be that one. Oh, no, no. or any product they have does pistachio want to say anything? Do you have like tasty ma'am at, AT- at chicago.com or something? Anything? Heavy lumber. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Did you guys hear me? Heavy yeah, lumber. Yeah. We can hear you, Billy. Nope. I didn't hear you, but we can hear you. What, 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 what are you going to say? It's on you, Billy. Talk. I don't think Billy can hear oh, us. Oh, we can't hear him. Oh, now we can't hear you. No, we can't nope. hear you. Yeah, there we go. There we got it. Nailed it. At Heavy yes. Lumber in Chicago. Good stuff, Billy. That uh, sucks. <laughs> we lost the audio. We lost the audio. Hey, this is going to be your best plug of all time if you guys can still hear me. Go, go, go. <laughs> go. Go. Go, Billy. What's the plug? What's the plug? Hey, Bachelor's Kitchen, one, two, one, four, one, five, six. I don't know. How are we doing? We can hear you. You can't hear us. Keep talking. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Well, uh, on that note, guys, we appreciate you coming on the show. We definitely want to call you back uh, in a couple months, maybe, and see what's going on uh, in your lives now. And, uh, like, we love having you guys. You guys are a blast, a lot of laughs, and we would like to have you back on the podcast again if you guys would like to hang out with us again. Uh, totally. Next Thank time. Next time. This is a lot of fun. I'm glad we had this time together. Man, like we're gonna meet up again, and we're probably gonna have to go down to Austin. I know uh, yeah, Alex anytime. has Alex has a lot of friends or family down in Texas. Well, uh, my sister, boys, I see a lot of a lot of lips moving here. I can't hear, can't hear. <laughs> but this hey, is the perfect hey, into this podcast. Before we go, I just want uh, the no, Bachelor Kitchen to apologize to us for ridiculing us. You want? Wait, fast, wait, wait, wait! Fast. Did you just say you want Team Bachelor's Kitchen to apologize to you? Because you guys can apologize yourselves all you want. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Team Fat Kid, I want Team Fat Kid to apologize to us for ridiculing us. <laughs> yes, we all we- have hopes and dreams. <laughs> you, you go ahead and try that out. <laughs> yeah. No, guys, we love having you on the show. We love to have you guys back. Uh, we're gonna. Uh, end it this way well, yeah we're gonna see you guys before soon. before the zoom ends again okay. Dennis, thank you guys for coming on the show <laughs> once again we would like to thank uh bachelor's kitchen for coming on the podcast this is it as always guys thank you for listening you can find us on facebook at team Facket. on instagram at team Facket nation on twitter at team Facket one on youtube and don't forget to be uh, keeping an eye out for our Fat Kid food truck coming soon to an area, hopefully near you if you're in the 757 anyway. At Fat underscore truck. That's right. On Twitter. As always, guys, you can find our beautiful website at www.teamfatkidnation.com. That beautiful is just for Jason. I hope to see you guys soon. Enjoy your week. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Shame of life, be getting real close Now you see it, become real